This game is a grind. Welcome to episode 4 of Other SMP Season 1. Now you see, I've spent the last many, many hours gathering resources. I have been gathering wood, I have been gathering iron, I have been gathering stone, and I have been gathering uh, rockets for the shop. But we gotta leave all these blocks behind and go over to the shopping district. Firstly, to check out our profits. Nice, one diamond. But the second reason we're over here is because of this whole area the shopping area and now i have been tasked slash i volunteered slash i had an idea to do an, a complete makeover on this area and turn it into what will become the greatest shopping area ever now this is going to be a big project so we'll see if we can get it all done in one episode but i need to expand the shopping district add proper pathways add regions Add basic infrastructure, so we better get started now. And just like that, we were off to the races. We had a lot of building ahead of us, building new rivers, reconnecting two islands into one, and filling in all of the water and any of the areas that were unnecessary. It was a project, but it's only the beginning. Guys, it's time to share with you my whole plan. Let's get into it. Here's the plan. The shopping district is empty at the moment, and that's just no fun. So we need to spice it up a little bit. I'm working on subdividing this place into four different sections. The Wild West, the Downtown District, the Futuristic Dis District, and the Miscellaneous District. The Wild West is the one I'm building on the screen right now. It is themed after cowboys and Wild West things. The Downtown District that's all about skyscrapers and modern buildings. The futuristic district, not exactly sure how I'm going to do this one, but it is going to be futuristic, flying things, whatever people come up with as futuristic. Then for the miscellaneous section, I wanted a section where people can build whatever they want. There's no rules or restrictions because this is Minecraft. You can build whatever you want. Now, to inspire people to build in these sections, we are going to be hosting a competition. A competition for the best shop we could possibly get. Now, the winner is going to get a prize. I don't know what that prize is, but we'll figure it out. And so this video is going to be the first time any of the members are hearing about this. So make sure you guys get your building hats on, pick a shop, and build it down here in the shopping district. Anyways, let's see how we're doing. I forgot to record the audio, so uh, yeah, here's take two. Basically, what happened is we built the West, the Wild West District, and the City District is also completed now. But we have moved on from this to the final step, or the final area, I guess, because I'm not building out the miscellaneous section. This is the Futuristic District. We decided to go with this square design. And we did test by we, I mean, I, I did test out a pattern slash pathway design that I'm going to build. And it is going to require a lot of quartz, some diorite, some glass, some concrete, all those good things. So we're going to have to get to that. I it took a long time working over here at the city district, the black concrete. I needed like maybe a couple stacks worth of black dye. Probably not even, but I figured the best way to do that would just be to build a squid farm. So my rational brain put hours and hours into building this simple little squid farm, but it works. So I guess that's good ish. I don't know. Kind of a waste of time. Anyways, we did finish that portion and now we're on to the futuristic district. So let's get started. And they are off to the races. This is some of the most competitive resource gathering we have seen in a long time. You see the way they gather a diorite. You see the way they gather in quartz. You see the way that they're just working so hard to get all this stuff done. This is the most competitive. I don't understand how anyone's able to stay on their seat. It's just honestly the most competitive, amazing resource gathering we've seen in a long time. This is so amazing. What the heck? So I've gone ahead and gathered up a lot of resources and we are all set to go. In the process, I did build a new farm. I could hardly see it on my TV screen there, but I built a frog light farm and it took a long time, but it's working. So I will show you guys that 
in a moment. But first, I just really want to start getting blocks placed down. So I'm going to build up a little bit here. And uh, we're going to crack on with this. was getting boring anyways nobody wanted to watch the end of that time lapse anyways uh this is the frog light farm that i made that i said i was going to show you guys as well i threw together a quick bartering system because i definitely didn't run out of quartz and that's definitely not why we're stopping the time lapse anyways with this beautiful uh system we got lots more quartz i've already crafted up a bunch of this plenty of gravel and blackstone and all the other goodies that come with using this thing uh, apparently it's got some flaws because there shouldn't be any gold in the system. Anyways, let's look at this frog light farm some more. Uh, it just kills all the dudes. We fly up to the top and give you a quick demo. So all of these guys spawn in rather rapidly. Not super rapidly because the other guy's currently AFK running some other farms. But, I mean, that's pretty efficient if we come down here stand up here they all fall down there and uh, the snow blocks can only reach the bigger guys not the smallest guys so they get squished down and then the frogs get a little snack of the little guys yep that's that's basically how it works and when no one's online it works way too efficiently and so we're definitely going to be selling these in the future so today is monday and i wanted to finish this project by tonight so that we could start this competition for the server which means that we really have to get back to the shopping district to continue building this thing i did do a little bit of building off camera but not really that much just kind of testing out the design a little bit i'm gonna put the pillars here along the sides i finished putting in all the stairs and whatnot let me know what you guys think of this design in the comments down below anyways i'm gonna finish this up really quick because we need it done for tonight I am officially out of time. It has became evening now, and this is as far as I got, which uh, isn't bad. I mean, I still have a few more plans. I'm going to decorate the pathway in the miscellaneous section, but it is miscellaneous, you know? I don't really want to worry about it too much. While I was building this, I had an idea to, like, do a completely tech, completely custom ground. Make it, like, I don't know, a planet or something. Something futuristic or space themed but I, I don't have time to do that today so I'm going to open up the competition okay so I've set up the sign up area pretty simple this book so the shopping district has been split up into four districts the wild west district downtown modern futuristic and miscellaneous there will be a competition to see who can make the best shop the shops will be judged purely on aesthetics, not what they sell. Label five diamonds with your name and put it in the chest to sign up. Put rename paper with the item you plan on selling in the other chest. Rules. Variety is welcome, but two shops may sell the same items. No tampering with other people's builds. Plotted land is purely suggestion. Build where you would like. Build fitting the theme of the district. 
the prize. The winner is going to get 50% of the diamonds. Second and third place are going to share the remaining 50% with 30 going to second place and 20% going to third place. Competition is going to end September 20th. So pretty self-explanatory. Hopefully all the members see this. I'm going to ping them all in the Discord. So hopefully they come check it out. And uh, yeah, we'll see where it goes from here. This game is a grind. So that intro that I made, that uh, makes no sense relative to the project we've been working on. Yeah, uh, that's because the entire video that I planned to record got scrapped. And in the background, I have been working very hard to work on the mega base. So uh, I thought I'd just show you guys my progress. We've got the second layer of stands mostly in. We still need to put the glass and the pathways in for these two sections and then do the corners. But uh, yeah, there's been progress and it's looking pretty cool. We're going to have to do more work on this in the next episode. So thank you all for making it this far in the video. If you did enjoy it, why not consider subscribing, hitting that like button and uh, sharing it with someone else. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one.